We begin this lecture with the distributive law, which is one of the axioms of the real number system. We then use the distributive law to derive a number of other quadratic identities. Let's begin with an expression involving a combination of multiplication and addition, such as 4 times 2 plus 5. We know that multiplication has precedence over addition and this expression really means this. If we mean 4 times the sum of 2 and 5, then we have to add a mandatory parenthesis around 2 and 5. The parenthesis in the first case when we add 5 to the product is optional as it is implicitly assumed. In the second expression, since addition is to be done first, this is the same as 4 times 7, which is 28. The expression 4 times the sum of 2 and 5 can also be written as 4 times 2 plus 4 times 5, which is 8 plus 20, which is 28. The second expression is the distributive law. The distributive law is valid for all real numbers and we write it in the following way a times parentheses b plus c is the same as a times b plus a times c. It's called a distributive law, as short for saying that multiplication distributes over addition. The word distribute means to spread or supply something, as in the teacher distributed a review for the exam. In our case, it's multiplication that is generously distributed to the recipients B and C. Since multiplication can be illustrated using area, there is a nice way of visualizing the distributive law. The product of A and the sum B plus C can be illustrated as the area of a rectangle with height A and the base B plus C. If this is A and this is B plus C, then the area is A times B plus C. The base b plus c can be divided into two parts. If this is b, then the rest here must be c. From this, I can create two rectangles, a red one and a blue one. The area of the red rectangle is a times b. The area of the blue rectangle is a times c. Adding the area of the blue and the red rectangles must give me the area of the black rectangle. This demonstrates that a times b plus c must be equal to a times b plus a times c. Now this is just a demonstration and a visualization of the distributive law. It is by no means a proof. Actually, we don't prove the distributive law, we simply take it as one of the axioms of the real number system. From the distributive law we can derive a whole set of quadratic identities. The first one is called the right distributive law. This rule is very easy to prove from the axioms of the real number system. We know that by the commutative property of multiplication, this is the same thing as c times a plus b. From the distributive law, it follows that this is c times a plus c times b. Again, from the commutative property of multiplication, this is a times c plus b times c. Next we have the product of two sums. Again, this identity can be quite easily proven from the distributive law. According to the distributive law, I am supposed to take this term and multiply it by the first, that's a plus b times c. Then I'm supposed to take the same term and multiply it with the second term, that's a plus b times d. Now use the right distributive law and this is a times c plus b times c plus a times d plus b times d. Since addition is distributive and commutative, I can arrange these four terms however I like. For example, as a times c plus a times d plus b times c plus b times d. The next quadratic identity is the following. This is a special case of the previous one, where the terms in the first parenthesis are the same as the terms in the second parenthesis. I have a plus sign in the first and a minus sign in the second. 
In this special case, I get this simple expression, a square minus b square. This result is pretty simple to show from the previous one. In the next identity, I have plus in both, a plus b times a plus b, which we can write as a plus b squared. The result is a squared plus two times a times b plus b squared. Again, this is straightforward to show from the third identity. Let's also add the square of the difference a minus b. The only change will be in the sign on the second term. The distributive law and the quadratic identities are so fundamental and they are used so often that you should memorize all of them. Finally, let's look at the term factorization. By factorization, we mean to decompose an expression into a product of expressions. To factor an expression, we often use the quadratic identities in reverse. If I have an expression such as AB plus AC, then I can factor it as A times B plus C, a product of the expressions A and B plus C.